it's important to be different. There's been trends in the magic world. You had the David Copperfields with the suited and booted with the white rabbits, and then he moved over um, in, the, in the 21st century to, to the street magic. You've got the David Blaine. And now with the rise of social media, you've got viral YouTube, like the, the pranks, the pranksters and the magic that have a more comedy element. And that's the, small, the more the style that I'm focusing on. I'm still about the mind blowing, mind, you know, mind messing magic stuff but I have a more fun, enjoyable millennial style to it rather than taking it too seriously. Magic is, magic is my language. It's, it's, it's my way of going into a, a, a room, a stuffy room full of, you know, high profile CEOs or, you know, a fashion event or, you know, even at a nightclub, you know, a bar. I whip out a pack of cards, do some mind blowing stuff. People, they just become little kids again. And whenever I leave the house, I'll carry some type of trick on me. I think that's why people fall in love with magic and become magicians because they can relate to people and talk to people in a way that, that's you know very unique.